Theatre BC North Island Zone Festival is fast approaching and Pal River is rounding out the five-day festival with a play entitled Afterwards. <laughs> I know my name. I'm, I'm Afterwards is an original play written and directed by Pal River resident Blake Jose. His introspective play takes the audience on an enlightening journey of self-discovery. It's very stripped down, very minimal, just a black environment and people uh, or a business person, a business guy waking up in this environment and not with no memory of where he is or who he who he was or, or wh where he came from. Oh, I can't be cracking up like this. I gotta get myself together. I got, I got a board meeting on Monday. I, what day is it? Inspired by the afterlife, Blake describes afterwards as entertaining, but deep and moving at the same time because of the spiritual undertones. Hey, I, I use the word metaphysical, uh, but it's and it's it plays with a lot of um, Eastern concepts about the soul, about the body, the chakra system, you know, and all the the characters that that are in the, in the play all represent. An, a, the, an aspect of uh, uh, one person. Having past experience directing plays, Blake was excited to cast his two main characters, Mr. Black and Mr. White. Wednesday? Friday? Thursday? Right, terrific. We don't know anything. Mr. White is, uh, he's the intuitive side of every person's psyche or spiritual being, I guess. He's uh, he, he looks at life from a perspective of emotion, um, feeling, um, optimism, uh, that everything's going to be okay. Kevin is no stranger to the stage. While he sees parallels between himself and his character, he draws on common threads to help him get into the role. Right now is just finding where I'm confused in my own life because they both Mr. Black and Mr. White show up in this void and they don't know where they are, who they are, what their names are. So I'm really trying to draw on, in times of my own life, confusion that feeling of not knowing and being okay with not knowing. Complimentary to Mr. White is Mr. Black, played by Fraser Gaddis. Mr. Black represents the more analytical, serious side of the human psyche. Like if there's a problem, Mr. Black has to solve it. He has to know the answer. If there's a question, he has to know the answer to it. And uh, if he doesn't, it drives him crazy. He has to find out. Fraser draws on his past acting experience to bring his character to life but also recognizes the logistics that come with performing for audiences. Trying to make it feel real and natural, but also theatrical, because it's a stage and you gotta, it's gotta be big. People gotta see it. The person in the back row has gotta have the same experience as the person in the front row. Having a minimized set was part of Blake's thought process for the play, giving way to a null zone or void feeling. There isn't really a lot of extraneous stuff. And so the stuff that is there is important on a metaphorical level. This year, the Zone Festival is taking place in Nanaimo. Theatre companies Raven's Call and Theatre Now have high hopes for afterwards, but Blake looks forward to showcasing at home. In some ways I wrote it for Powell River, uh, for the Powell River audience. Afterwards will be running from May 24th to June 1st at the Evergreen Theatre. For more information, visit theaternow.ca. Exactly we wish them the best of luck at the Zone well, Festival. In Powell River, I'm Reggie Cabley. Crackers, that's what you are. You're mad as a flipping hatter. <laughs>